Oh my god. What is See that? It? <laughs> what is... What? Uh... <laughs> I kind of want to go to two now. I uh, can check out the game. Mark. But what? I like it. I actually like it. It's like a sing uh, signal guy. Come home. Come home. Can you open up the freaking gate, please? But come home. What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan and welcome back to another update video. We welcome you back, me and Mr. Dinko, to the forest update 0.35 and today again is focused on the defensive structures in the game. This is great because I actually need some more defenses because I'm running out of ideas. Uh, at the moment we've got, which you saw in the last video, our base. Uh, it's mainly set up with defensive walls and a rock wall barrier on the outside. So we have a bit of a area where the zombies can't or the zombies or whatever you want to call these guys the mutants cannibals shithead uh, brazilians whatever you want to call them can't get through but now they've added in mini catapults and at the moment they only fire rocks but eventually we'll be able to fire anything we can think of and eventually we might be able to even put Devon into the catapult and fire him across the map but we'll see what we'll see what happens we can probably add dead bodies as well uh, not only that, uh, we're hoping probably to see some more items as such that we could like send out because they're actually saying there should be uh, dead fish coming up. So we'll just have to wait and see. We I reckon it'll be quite interesting uh, to see what they're going to be adding into the game. They're doing a really good job with it. Uh, other uh, big things they've actually added is they start to optimize buildings. They're starting off with the walls, so which means they're making 2D uh uh, textures for viewing in the distance so we do see it uh, but in the 2d form and it will improve the memory and performance of the game which means we can you know run it in a higher quality or whatever you are running it in at the moment you'll be able to get a little bit more performance out of it maybe a couple of frames not something drastic um, other big news is actually animals now drop uh, such as birds uh, small animals uh, swirls and that actually drops small generic meats that is a great ad because I kill a lot of birds to get the feathers so I can make arrows so that is great well done I really like that they've also made a lot of audio tweaks and they've uh, actually changed the dead screen as well we actually have mutants eating us when we're dead this is great I love it already it feels like I'm playing the walking uh, dead uh, but with naked people but take it away from a side note there uh, They've also added, uh, will change the actual loading screen and the actual uh, pause screen. Now that's also been changed, which is also looking quite nice, and it's now looking like a game that's not in the alpha anymore. And it looks like we're actually getting somewhere in the game, which is quite cool, because which means it's starting to look more and more a completed copy. Obviously, there's still a lot of things that are going to be adding into the game. There is, it can go on forever and ever and ever, but you know, we'll see what happens uh, they've also fixed a lot of multiplayer bu uh, bugs as well in the uh, lower frame rates as such with the host or the client when entered in the cave together because I've had a few times where I've dropped between uh, having about 45 to 60 frames a second and so I've dropped down to 23 uh, 18 frames a second when I join Mr. Dinko in a cave and I have had that a few times but uh, you won't see it in this video because I'm not going to show you that because I don't like showing laggy videos uh, at the best of times but this update here is really well done and now I'm going to leave you to Mr. Dinko he will now explain a little bit more of the updates that have been put into the game with a nice commentary over the top. Players drop held logs when swimming, fixed single first arrow not upgrading like others, fixed skull lamp sometimes not visible after loading saved game, fixed arm mesh poking through sleeves on player model, added dodge animation to regular cannibal types, improved first person crouch walk idle animation, Fixed player being able to walk along the ocean floor while underwater. Blood now washes away from weapon body if player is crouched in a shallow water. Dynamic trunk leaf bending added to falling trees. Better held position of spear and player in multiplayer. Creepy mutants will attack the walls and structures that are blocking the path to the player more often. Custom effigy can now always be lit by everyone when there is no limb attached to but will have an effect area of zero. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you Mr. Dinker for putting that lovely speech across. Uh, one last thing I just want to highlight because I feel like I really want to highlight this anyway. Finally they fixed the crocodiles from killing me in one hit because I'm getting sick and tired of that. I feel like I was Steve Owen with the sting Stingray, I didn't even get a second chance. But uh, 
look thank you guys for all the support you guys have been enjoying these update videos and i hope you are going to continue to enjoy them they're going to be a common part of this channel and we're going to be doing 0 0.36 soon uh it's going to be coming in the next 14 or so days i'm not 100 percent sure you just have to let me know in the comments down below because i've got to check it uh we're also going to be having some other videos like payday 2 uh more Far Cry Primal. I'm going to get more of it up as soon as possible. And I'm probably going to even get some multiplayer games back up as well as the top 10. But at the moment, I might stick with some gameplays. A lot of you actually are, are starting to enjoy gameplays and we're trying to get gameplays more into this channel than the actual top 10s. We obviously will be doing top 10s as well, but we're just trying to you know branch out a bit, make it a little bit more unique, make our channel stand out from the rest. We'll see how it goes, guys. But thank you guys again. Thank you for 50k, 55,000 now actually. I'll see you all next time. I'm Ryan from NGZ.